Do you know why people quarrel with each other sometimes? Do you know why people misunderstood what others are talking about? That is because they do not have a good communication skills. But what is communication? How to improve our communication skills? You must be very interested in you. First, we should figure out what communication is. Communication is what we try to speak to others. It is the exchange of information, ideas, or feelings from others. It involves a sender transmitting an idea, feelings to a receiver. You may think that it is, it is really simple and easy. Actually, it is not at all. Effective idea is important. It occurs only if the receiver understands the exact words the sender wants to transmit. There are some components for us to communicate. First, sending messages, including verbal and non-verbal messages. When you speak to others, you have to look at that person so he or she will know that you are talking to them. Also, pay attention to the speaker's nonverbal messages. Remember, do not interrupt while others are talking. It is very rude and implied for you to do so. So remember not doing that. Occasionally, think back about what the person has said. Second, receiving messages, including listening, paying full attention to the speaker and being aware of the speaker's body language. You may think that it sounds really a piece of cake, but there are some barriers behind it. Barriers to communication may cause a good plan to fail. Take myself for example. Once I invited my friends to go biking with me, because both of us love doing it. I told her that we met at 5 o'clock in front of our school. Finally, the day was coming. Be uh, because that day was her birthday, I planned to give her a big surprise, so I didn't tell her the details of my plan. I planned to go biking in the morning, and then have a birthday party with other classmates at noon. I also booked a restaurant for 10 people. I hope we would enjoy a lot and create, create lots of wonderful memories on her birthday. Finally, her birthday was coming. I stood in front of our school, but for 30 minutes and waited for no one. Suddenly, an idea popped into my mind. I wonder if she misunderstood the time. Exactly. I went back home and felt depressed. I made a self-criticism. I knew that was my fault and learned a lesson that it was the matter of communication. I didn't make a good communication, so reasonably, I had to take the responsibility. I also realized that communication effective is really important. It also involves eye contact. People making eye contact signals interest in others and also increase the speaker's credibility. Facial expression is another point. Just like there's a couple, the man asks her girlfriend that she couldn't celebrate her birthday because he was busy. Her girlfriend can be considerate and reply, it's fine, with a smile on her face. Or she can reply with a poker face. That's really different. But we know that if we wear a smile frequently, people will be more comfortable around you and will want to listen to you more. Communication is really not an easy task, although we do communicate every day. 
Good communication will help us lead a wonderful life, but poor communication will make us get into trouble. Mine is really a great example. So, from then on, I always double check the time and place we met, so as not to make the same mistake as I did before. Communication is really important, so why not join me to practice communication skills? Hear me.